Welcome to the tutorial on Groovy Script and FreePlane. In this tutorial, we will learn about Groovy Script, write Groovy Scripts, add the Groovy Scripts to the FreePlane Scripts folder, run the script in the FreePlane interface, add child notes to a map using the script and add a hyperlink to a node using script. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 16.04 OS, Freeplane 1.7.10, Firefox web browser 78 and a working internet connection. To follow this tutorial, Learner must be familiar with the Freeplane interface. For prerequisite tutorials, please visit this site. Link for the Groovy website is shown here. Link for simple example scripts for use in Freeplane is also shown here. Teachers can extend the Groovy scripting method to import student names marks and grades or to collate results. Groovy is an object-oriented programming language based on Java platform. Groovy scripts can be executed in the nodes in Freeplane. Let's open Freeplane. Click on Tools in the menu and select Scripts. Notice that there are no scripts present in the Submenu now. Next, click on Tools and select Open User Directory. A new window opens showing the Freeplane settings for files and folders. Notice the path for the scripts from here. It is in the .config directory under Freeplane and 1.7.x. Learner must note down the path for the scripts folder in your computer. Scripts must be saved in this scripts directory to be executed. They are named with extension .groovy. Click on the X sign to close this window. Press the Windows key on the keyboard. Type gedit in the search form and press enter. Let's open a text editor to write a script. A gedit window opens. Windows users may use Notepad. A teacher wants to add 20 students as 20 child notes to a language class. They need to be named as student 1 to student 20 according to roll numbers. I will write a short for loop structure and set the number of names required. Start the for loop as seen on the screen. Here i is a variable. This means the value of i change from 1 to less than 21. The value of i is incremented in units of 1. I will type a curly brace. I will also close the curly brace in the next line. We will enter required commands between the curly braces. Next, let's write a command to add the 20 child notes. Enter the command as seen on the screen. Here, we define a child and create a child node as student1. Learner must write in the syntax for the program to be functional. Click on File, Save in the menu to open the Save dialog box. We cannot change the folder to .config via menu. It is because the name starts with a dot. So, we will first save the script in the home directory. Later, move the file to the scripts folder using terminal command. I will give the file name add child.groovy and click on save. 
Click on the X sign on the top to close Gedit. Open a terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt and T keys together. Move the script file to the scripts directory using the command as seen here. Press enter to execute the command. Change to the scripts directory using the command as seen here. Type ls to list the files in the directory. Notice that the script file is now in the scripts folder. Learner must save the script in the correct script folder in their computer. I will write one more script. Type gedit space hyperlink dot groovy and press enter. The text editor opens with a new file. For demonstration, I will choose the web address of the FreePlane tutorial link. Type node.link.text equal to followed by a single quote. Now copy and paste the desired web address. I have already copied the desired web address link. Paste the desired web address and close the single quote. You may pause the video to add the desired web address of your choice. Press Ctrl S to save the file and press Ctrl Q to quit gedit. The new scripts are saved in the correct path and FreePlane can read it. We must close and reopen FreePlane for the scripts folder to be read. Then the newly added script will be read when FreePlane starts. Click on File Quit FreePlane to close FreePlane. A Save Map dialog box appears. I will click on No and will not save the present map. Let's reopen FreePlane. Click on Tools, Scripts in the menu. Notice that the Add Child and Hyperlink scripts are visible now. I will rename the root node to classes. I will add a child node to the map and name it software skill. Let's add two more children to the root node. I will name them language 1 and language 2. Let's add 20 student names to the language 1 node. For this, first select the language 1 node. Next, run the script by clicking on Tools, Scripts, Add Child. A confirmation prompt appears on the screen with a warning message. It prompts the user whether to run the script. Click on Yes to run the script. Notice that 20 child nodes are added to the map. They are named Student 1 to Student 20. We can also modify node properties in a similar fashion using scripts. We can run the script on any number of selected nodes. Let's press Ctrl C to undo the addition of child nodes in the map. Let's select language 1 and language 2 nodes. Run the add child script again. Again, the confirmation prompt appears on the screen. Let's click on Yes. Now, the list of 20 students gets added to both the selected nodes. Let's hyperlink the FreePlane tutorial web address to the software skill node. Select the software skill node. Next, run the script by clicking on Tools, Scripts and Hyperlink. Click on Yes on the prompt to run the script. Notice the red arrow next to the node indicating a link. Click on the software skill node. A web browser opens. If you have a working internet connection, the page will load. You can also link to files in your computer in this manner. Many scripts and examples are available online. Go to the FreePlane web address as seen here. 
scroll down and notice the example Groovy scripts available here. Notice the Learn Groovy and Script Collection link. Learner may use these resources for learning purposes. Close the web browser and go back to FreePlay. You may choose to save this file. Click on File Quit FreePlane or press Ctrl Q to quit FreePlane. Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about Groovy Script, wrote Groovy Scripts, added the Groovy Scripts to the FreePlane Scripts folder, executed the script in the FreePlane interface to add child nodes in the map and hyperlink to a node for assignment activity. Please do the following. Write a Groovy script of your choice and execute it in FreePlane. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial team conducts workshops and gives the certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in the forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.